Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Formant here playing as Great Britain. So we are doing fairly well. Uh, we have 13 colonies. We have Cuba. We still have most of France under our control. And we are just about to pick a fight with some of the Native Americans, specifically the Iroquois, the Bawatomi, and the Pequot Indians. Hopefully that will get five, six, seven provinces to our North American lands. Um, which will help our 13 colonies, who are doing fairly well on their own. I don't know what development they're up to. 125 development. They're not uh, tiny anymore. So let's start that. There one, you. Wait a second. Wipe you out first. The Iroquois are going to be the big issue with this. Really? You got away? How'd you get away there? Ay, ay, ay. Sometimes the AI and their ability to run away is amazing. Not that the Iroquois have very valuable land, but still. Every bit of land helps. Our innovativeness is up, up to almost 10, so that's positive. Our Caribbean colonies and stuff are going reasonably well. Um, Spain is kind of betrayed us last episode and is now uh, very hostile towards me. So we did get Denmark back as an ally, if that really matters in this game of things. Well, let's run you down here, otherwise you're going to die. Clearly the Native Americans are trying to wipe us out. They will not accept peace yet, fair enough. Our colonial nation has yet to be able to muster a substantial fighting force, but five troops, or six troops, seven troops, isn't that bad, really. They could almost win some of these wars on their own if uh, it was one-on-one. -on -one. They're actually competent and able to siege land, which is kind of cool. Apparently the Miami... I figured it's a good time to try and hack the Iroquois as well, which is kind of interesting. Interesting. I wonder why that's the case. I guess because they were being attacked by another large power, but it still feels a bit reckless, because once we end this war, the Iroquois will just turn around and come after them. Oh well. Unless we smash the Iroquois army first, which might be what they're counting on. This is going to be nice. We're going to get to rapid industrialization soon, which will help a lot in terms of income. 20% production is huge. Ah, oh, Savannah is done. Cool. Um, let's snag... Oh, I can't get to that one. Let's go for that then. They're really after my armies there. Occupying all that land. There we go. The Iroquois should want peace now. Go, oh, we'll take that. Oops, not enough. Two provinces could be better, but it does give a good portion of that land to a colony, and then it's just a matter of really forcing peace on everyone else. Frederick is done. Cool. Oh, we'll go for that province then. Lock in five or six provinces for 13 colonies, and we're in great shape. Plus we can get another uh, claim on France. I think, however you pronounce that, will be our next target. And oh, they don't want to give me both of them. Interesting. They still want to fight on. Kind of hilarious, really. They have no hope, but they're going to use what time they have to cause problems. Come on, we've already occupied all your land. Said you're gonna go and smash our armies. And I apparently cannot march there. Nor can I get military access. Actually, wait, I can get military access from the Iroquois, which is kind of funny, considering we just beat them up. And let's grab... Oh, more mercantilism. 
And shipbuilding. Bonus goods produced. How much is our income going to jump? One or two? Whoa, a lot. Wow. Ah, also a colony completed. That would explain a good portion of that as well. I love how we were the first one to get to these islands and we've literally colonized one of them. I mean, Cuba is the big prize, really, in terms of land together. And now they're smashing my armies. Joy! Thank you, game. My armies weren't really even doing anything, but nope, they wanted to kill them. And now they've got the winning the war modifier going for them. Making progress. Please take out all this land if you would. And the colon uh, colonists back while we hunt armies. Look, I really just want those two provinces. Just please die. Submit to the Great British Empire. Good points. Come well, on, it doesn't take much. At least the colonial nations built up their military now. Not to any substantial amount, but there we go. Demand money. War is over. Thank you. Finally. <sighs> We've taken Vermont. All of Vermont. New Hampshire is still a ways away. We do want to get Quebec started soon. Ah, another uh, merchant. Throw you in Bordeaux. That should affect everything running down this way. Yeah. Pulls more trade this way and then pulls more trade to the English Channel, which gives us 57% of trade in that area. Anything I can do to boost trade? Do have any centers of trade? We have Aquintine. I guess that's worth it. We're unlikely to get kicked out of France anytime soon, so. Um, yeah, let's cancel military access with the Iroquois. Although I could technically vassalize them. It's kind of hilarious because I just stole half their land, but. Um, could attack the Cree if I've got a um, claim. Same thing with the Cherokee. I really want to expand more in Europe. Can I threaten France? No. Sucks. Can I fight Burgundy? If I attack Burgundy, Portugal would be, but no one else. If I were to attack Spain, everybody would aid them. Great. Couldn't be better. Although if I wait, like, 10 months, France will surrender another province, which would be awesome. Did I threaten the Spanish West Indies now I'm thinking about it? No, I'd have to threaten Spain. Ugh. Considering how fast Spain is growing, it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Spain is a legitimate, legitimate Threat to my control of the new world. <sighs> and though, uh, we'll go for the Cree as well. Those are innovativeness. Still hasn't hit 10, but we're getting really close. Oops, Shenandoah. What a surprise is revolting again. <laughs> Got to send someone there to restrain that. It's a serious problem. And split you in half, I guess. Ah, Parliament wants to talk again. Um, ugh. How are we doing state religion-wise? 
could be doing a lot better, so let's go for state religion. 95%. Uh, that means we should just be able to bribe you. Problem is over. More Anglicanism we can convert, the better. Ireland's finally being converted. Cool to see. Um, Jude O'Neill's Irish Rebellion doesn't even occur. And all of the HRE, with the exception of that one province, is now Catholic again. Interesting. Printing press is spreading. Is this spreading because of a neighboring province? It is. Ew. In there. Um, tech or idea? Tech or idea? Idea. Almost a free 1% uh, off of all uh, monarch power spent is a nice little bonus. Put that in the treasury. I guess I will do this on Ice the Caribbean just because it's getting annoying not having done so. We will put down some more production buildings. We will admire the fact that our Chesapeake Bay controls a lot of power and land in the area. Pitching colonies. The Iroquois did win that war, which is impressive. I figured they would. The Iroquois are a minor player in the world. We'll send aid to Austria. What is Austria up to? Apparently nothing. They just wanted manpower. Cool. How do I break Burgundy? Ay -ay -ay. Twice the size of Burgundy, and they're still a legitimate threat. Uh, let's go talk to France again, though. France is uh, having more trouble. Every opportunity to take land from France is a good opportunity. France is fighting Alance, Nuremberg, and Trier. Interesting. We'll defend the guild for the moment, at least. But I would like to get this Monopoly Charter going again. Monopoly and New World. Two years. Okay, I can wait that long, I assume. I've got some patience when I play video games, right? Oh. Time for you people in the moors to apparently build a workshop to produce paper. And now it's time to deal with the Cree. Uh, we'll go for Tuskegee. We're apparently fighting the Cherokee. Interesting. And now we're meddling. Everybody wants your lands. Time for 13 colonies. You've got troops. Let's use them. Oops. Did you just steal a march to siege that land on me? No, I got it. Raise another troop. It's amazing how, even though when you're oppressing the natives and stuff, you have to keep military troops in the area, but it's literally 1,000 most of the time. And then it's essentially reproduction, which is awesome. What do the 13 colonies think about this whole affair? They're very happy right now. Ah, because they developed their province. That would do it. They have 82, they have 169. I'm going to go out on a limb and say they are really enjoying being developed. Ooh. That's concerning. 13 colonies couldn't stop. Uh, the Indian Revolt. Probably. I can't help them though. That's a problem. Oh, I'm gonna have to march troops north again, aren't I? Actually, I should probably take this area here and build some transport ships. That way, I can actually move troops around 
North America. Shawnee are the other target. Now they should be fairly easy to defeat. Pick out these guys first though. I hate how the AI's plan is never fight the armies, just siege the provinces in the new world. A bit tiresome. Just a bit tiresome. Not like I'm, you know, a bit angry with them over that. Nor the fact that they're apparently now allowing Iroquois separatists everywhere. Go smash that army. You're moving to more talk, so let's stop you there. It's two armies smashed. You're moving to try and take out another one of my forces, aren't you? Oops, nope, 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 don't do that, don't do that. If they're coming for you, let them come for you. Colonial Nation's doing enough work elsewhere. West March is converted, nice. I'm amazed how long it's taken me to get my realm in order. I guess I'm never this big when I convert to uh, Protestantism. Usually. I mean, on average, you really convert when you're a small nation. Or else you're someone like France and have just been absolutely decimated in a war. I have to send troops to stop the Iroquois. Oh, yo, yo. Problems, problems, problems. Let's speed up the taking out of the Shawnee land. Even if we can't get that land yet. Speeding them up will come to some purpose, right? They're still uh, not even reformed from a native council, so... Not what I'd call a really dangerous foe at the moment. There we go. Now go deal with some of those rebels if you... You've been entirely occupied and you still don't want peace. Great. Ah. Now you're free once again. Okay, let's go deal. Let's go smash them. Get some more production going. How is printing press doing? Bill has yet to spread to Calais, doing half decent in London. Actually doing fairly well in France's capital. Not spreading fast, seeing as there's a definite lack of Protestantism in this world. But 13 colonies have managed to uh, rein in some of the Native Americans and convert their lands as well. Actually, a little impressed by how well they're doing. Now, let's take all of this if we can. We can. Oh, that's lovely. There we go. 13 colonies just grew some, plus, we've now started into colonial Louisiana. Also, kind of cool. Which means I need to start fabricating claims against these people. That and maybe beat up the Cherokee. Where are you allied to? Ottawa. Where's Ottawa? Ottawa is way up there. Ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. At least we're feeding the 13 colonies. There's that. I also can cancel military access from the uh, Iroquois. I might as well take out the Cherokee since they're on their own. Everything else is going well in the rest of the Empire. And we've now completed expansion ideas, which is huge, because now we can take a policy that gives us more settlers. 
more settlers is always good. Even if it does come at the cost of one diplomatic power per month. Do this. I'm going to rely on the 13 colonies to actually be able to take out Ottawa. Nothing happening in Europe. Can't threaten France because we're at war with France. Don't need a buy there though. Mm -mm. I should also take out Wichita at some point. Oh, that's convenient. The people right down here are allied to those two. No reason to go after these guys when they have allies when I can take out those guys who don't have allies. Interesting how that the um yeah, never mind. Totally pointless. Austria is asking us to attack Hungary, Ragus, and Siena. My Hungary's already lost this war, so I don't really have to do anything I don't want to. Just finish off defensive ideas. There we go. We have now completed the entire British idea tree. So free plus one naval tradition, which is ick. But something. Our naval bonuses are really strong, even if we don't need any of them. At least at the moment. I should check about upgrading my ships, though. 738 gold. Okay. I need some money. Give me money. Uh, give me diplo power, apparently. Burgundy's adopted the printing press. Okay. Spain still hates me. Portugal, if they die, my dynasty would take over. I sure hope that's the case. The other dynasties. Ethiopia is a thing. Uh, too bad I can't marry into you. Ottomans are willing to be my ally once I'm done with my wars. At the moment, at least. Let's just send you to siege the rest of the Cherokee lands. 13 colonies is not moving. And now they are. Crazy, I say they're not moving and now they are. Um, I don't think they're going to win that fight, though. Yeah, right now the Native Americans have more morale than they do. Forgive me if I find it slightly amusing. Aberdeen has been converted. Um, where are the totemist lands? There they go. Specifically, I'd like to convert those. They don't matter too much, but they have a lot of unrest. Take the army tradition penalty, that's fine. What are the colonies doing? They're still growing. That is a long march up to Ottawa. Cuba. Ugh. I don't want to give up any of my uh, mercantilism. Although another free conversion is nice. What is this? Oh, Center of Reformation is still working away. Scotland and Ireland and southern France are the holdouts. Fair enough. Don't think I need this tooltip for merchants anymore. Nor the percent on colonists, really. Colonies is nice, but everything else is... Eh. How are you doing? You're almost done. What are the 13 colonies up to? Are they still colonizing lands? I don't actually know where they're colonizing anymore. Are you colonizing anywhere? 
Oh, cat skills. I guess that makes sense. Kind of a little weird that the 13 colonies has land up here and then land down here and then there's Florida in between. I'm going to take out the Iroquois. Four years. Four years and then the Iroquois will fall. And Bahamas. Sorry, not Bahamas. What am I saying? Bahamas is almost done as well. Puerto Rico's done, so where are you going to colonize next? Oh, colony done. Okay, let's send one for starting in Canada. I'd like to at least get started on a Canadian one. Pretty key, Canada. But anyhow, that will be it for this episode. Next time, hopefully this war against Hungary will be done, and our war against the Cher Cherokee should end in our victory fairly soon. So thank you guys all for watching. Bye for now.